Hi there. Recently in our favorite game was released the 1.18 patch, which brought to the game a lot of positive and interesting changes, including a change of some vehicles. So developers finally updated one of my favorite tanks, namely AMX M454, the French tier 10 heavy tank. Even before the patch this tank was pretty interesting, though not really strong. But now this vehicle has got such characteristics that it can be called almost the strongest heavy tank in the game, because it is absolutely everything you need for comfortable play. So, let's take a closer look at its armor. The armor is unusual, all because it has an extremely strong bottom forehead, the armor of which often allows you to absorb standard shells of tier 10 tanks, with the exception of tank destroyers of course. Let alone the upper part, it's amazing, and has an average of 300 to 320 millimeters of armor. An important feature and at the same time a disadvantage are these areas. If the tank stands at right angle, they have a lot of armor and work well. But the point is that to use AMX M454 armor effectively you have to do about that angle, in order to strengthen the forehead armor. In this case, these areas become vulnerabilities, and you should be careful with it. Also worth noting is the pretty weak sides, with only 85 mm of armor. This, though more than it was before the patch, is still pretty weak, and it often gets penetrated there even at a pretty steep angle. And also the turret, which though pretty strong, can still be penetrated by rounds with a penetration of 300 and greater in these areas. And of course the hatches, which are also vulnerabilities. To briefly sum up the armor, this armor is very decent and you can count on it. It works especially well if you know how to use it properly. To do this, you don't have to use the classic tactic of using the side, because the sides of this vehicle are pretty weak. Instead always drive out from cover so your enemy can see only the hull's forehead at a steep angle. Most often unskilled enemies air immediately shooting and of course not penetrating. If an enemy is more experienced, try jerking forward and backward a bit, to get him to shoot. But be careful, Remember about the vulnerability in the form of the hull's forehead bevel, well obviously don't show the side, or you'll have no problem to be hit straight in the track. I hope you understand it. Well, now let's talk about another absolute advantage of the AMX M454, namely the firepower. I should tell you right away that you only have to use the top 130mm gun, because that's what makes this tank so awesome. And damn, what a comfortable gun it is. It literally has no drawbacks. The damage per shot is awesome, 560. Damage per minute is also pretty comfortable after the patch. In my build it is about 3100. By the way, this is the only right build, because it just makes no sense to use other equipment. After all stabilization, aiming time, and accuracy are awesome even without any additional improvements. In terms of firing comfort this gun is the same as the Super Conqueror. Only the Frenchman has higher damage per shot, which is a significant advantage in current random. Indeed, no other non-clip gun in the game among heavy tanks has such an interesting feature set. One important thing to know is that golden rounds are AP, and their average penetration is 296mm. On the one hand it's good, as AP shells have the best normalization. On the other hand, it's not enough to penetrate the forehead of the E-100 turret. It's not exactly a plus or a minus, just a unique feature that's not worth focusing on. Needless to say, you can see for yourself how comfortable and enjoyable this gun is. Nothing to complain about. The same can be said about the mobility. After all AMX M454 has just incredible mobility, considering its other features. The top speed with the turbocharger is 44 km per hour, and I remind you, this tank is worth playing only using the turbocharger. Specific engine power is almost 17 horses per ton. For comparison, AMX M454 has the same mobility as pretty fast heavy tanks like T110E5, Chieftain and VZ55. Considering all the above mentioned about its armor and firepower, this Frenchman is probably the most enjoyable tier 10 tank in the 1.18 patch. Once again, not the strongest, exactly enjoyable, as some Chieftain or VZ55 is still ahead above. But the gameplay and combat style of the AMX M454 itself brings an incredible of fun and enjoyment. 
now it just doesn't have any significant flaws. Yes, it may not have very strong turret and side armor, or not very high damage per minute. But overall, against all the advantages, it doesn't feel like that at all. And the only thing that can really annoy you while playing this wonderful tank is RNG, falling shells and permanent oppression by Artie. However nice a tank is, you shouldn't forget what kind of game we play. Okay, thank you for watching this video to the end, I hope you found it useful. It's time to say goodbye. Good luck to everyone, and remember, don't play World of Tanks.